Kristen here from Scooter Bug Corner, and I am going to share another summer retro themed journal with you. This one is made with a faux leather cover. It is in this uh, fun little vintagey plaid. So, and it's been stitched with this uh, tealish color all the way around. And the front closure on this one is different. Um, so it, there is a backing here of vintage pink chenille. And then on top of that is this yellow um, veil. And then uh, there is a vintage doily. And then I've done this, uh, printed out this image, kind of making it like a little applique that has been stitched on. And then there is a vintage pink button that has some of this fun threading through it. And this whole thing is sewn and attached to this peachy, peachy colored uh, seam bind ribbon. And that is what is used to secure the journal. So it is completely removable. So it does not have to stay on there, or it can. And then the rest of the journal is just plain. So the decoration part is literally all in the binding. Okay. Well, not the binding of the book, but the closure, I guess I should say. And you can see that it is a three pamphlet stitch. This one, uh, the signature is stitched into the cover, so it is not removable. Inside is this uh, vintage retro inspired uh, fabric print. It makes me think very much of summer. This journal has a little bit more decoration to it. Uh, if you've watched some of my other videos that I've shared of some of the other journals, they're a little lighter. So here is one that's got a little bit more of Scooter Book Corner Flair. So you can see my I've done the stitching of all of the die cuts to make this belly band. And underneath is a one of the journaling cards that also has been stitched around the edge and it has the you know fun dangling um threads there are still plain pages here is lace print dyed paper so you can see the print here that i've done this myself here is this vintage doll replica uh, and I had to have her because her name is Scooter. So, um, perfect nod to the Scooter Bug Corner. And here is a stitched uh, index card into this pocket. Doily. Some lined paper. And over here I have a guest check. And then this little um, folder pocket just has like a little tag, a little ticket. It opens up. Here's a perfect little place to journal. And on the back, you can even tuck in either more ephemera or a tiny picture or a note, whatever you want. Here is some printed vellum. Here is a tuck spot. And it is made um, with a series of the stitched index card pockets. So here I have a tag, another tag, and then these two tags are tucked in behind this little um, flamingo print circle. And that's even printed on shimmery paper. I don't, there we go. You can kind of tell there that the light is picking it up. So uh, lined paper on this side this unties and you can see this cute little retro image of these little cuties in the pool handmade little flower um, doily and this opens up and you can either journal or add pictures there let's tie this back down with this lace lace ribbon okay uh, this is definitely my favorite page in the whole book. So in here is this really fun lemon print. And then I've used master board pages to create this pocket. So there's you know a lot of mixed media, there's stitching, there's this um, lace on there, this um, piece of this die cut of this girl swinging and have the best of her day life here. 
And then I've decorated that where it says swing. Inside, I, inside this pocket, I have a vintage um, math card, this inventory tag, and a vintage Whitman card. I can't remember off the top of my head which game this is from, but it's either Rummy or whatever. I, I have like a whole bunch of them and just kind of choose at will. So uh, here is stitched cray paper. Here is one of my paper clusters um, where you can then tuck things behind. It has vintage paper. Uh, little fabric and then this hand dyed vintage doily some of my hand dyed uh, yellow paper here is this short small pocket it has this ribbon detail and here I have the stitched index card and an inventory tag with this seam binding just some grid paper but I've added this cute little sticker. I think of summer. I think of bikes. And again, here's another fun nod to the scooter. So I've made this tag from um, one of my master boards. It has lots of layers on there. Vintage map and different pa vintage papers. There's a ruffled um, banner. You know, then the little boy stitched on there with this tab. And then this folds open. And this is all wide open to do what you want with it. And then I've added this on the back so that you have a great spot to journal. So the center has been left totally blank for you to do whatever you want. Here is a sticker. Here is this adorable uh, stamp. I've stamped this on this pattern paper and fussy cut it out to add this little tab onto there. Here's another um, side of that short folder. Here's the stitched card. It has this adorable daisy trim. Here is a pocket. I don't currently have anything in it, but it's been inked around this fun looking picture. This is from Maddie Holmes Sunny Days. And then that trim. And on the back, here is a fabric pocket. In here, I currently only have a tag, but I will be adding some other fun surprise little ephemera. Um, you can then use that bag to, you know, glue it onto a journal page and do your own kind of decorating. If you've watched any of my other journals, you've definitely seen where I've had, added these bags and decorate on top of them. So here, I have this embossed and stitched pocket. I have this little decoration down the side. There is um, just some lined paper uh, folded in half to add as a journaling spot, uh, an inventory tag. Here is this stitched uh, grid index card and then a little stitched um, reproduction flash card. Over here I have this large journaling card into this fun pocket. I have, um, that's the other side of that printed vellum. Here is a doily. Here's probably definitely the most decorated page in the entire book. Um, so I have this stitched index card that's got all the fun die cuts. You can see that I tore out an edge and stitched, uh, it's actually a floral print down this side. And then here is a journal, or not a journal, an old, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, book page that has been made into the pocket. There's the back side of that. Here is, um, this tag is attached and I have uh, a ball pin here, so I will, I've got to decide um, what little summer charm I want to add there, so it'll be a surprise because <laughs> I have to decide. But you can tuck things up under that tag. And then the back of this has this fun, pretty um, ribbon that has been attached in here to be a pocket. So I hope you enjoyed this journal. Uh, let me know what you think. This is a different closure uh, style that I've ever done before. What do you think about this? Do you like to have your closures attached? Do you like the idea? Uh, I'm thinking the nice thing about this, you know, if it's bulky and you take it off, then, you know, you're able to journal on your surface without having to fight 
a decorative cover. So there might be definitely some positives to it, especially if your signature is bound in. Uh, all right, so I hope that you have found something fun here. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber and you're giving me yet another moment of your time, thank you. I appreciate you. And until next time, I hope you have a great day.